Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Multimedia System series. So in today's video, we will continue our discussion on text and audio. This time, we will dive deeper into the basic of sound and how it is digitized and the various ways we represent the sound in the multimedia. We will also explore the audio formats and the MIDI. By the end, you will have a clear understanding of how audio is captured and used in the multimedia application. So let's get started, okay? So at first the basics of the sound concepts, right? So sound is a form of the energy that travels through the air in the form of the waves, okay? The sound waves are created by vibrating the objects and are characterized by the properties like the frequency, amplitude and the pitch. Frequency refers to the number of sound waves cycles per second. It measures in the Hertz unit, which determines the pitch. Amplitude refers to the height of the sound wave, determining the loudness. So higher amplitude means the louder sound. Understanding these basic sound properties is essential when working with the audio in the multimedia okay so now the types of sound in multimedia sound can be categorized into the three main types like the speech music and sound effects speech is often used in the narrations or voiceovers music adds the emotion and the mood while sound effects are used for the action or the events like a door slamming or the footstep. Each type of sound play a crucial role in creating an immersive multimedia experience. Okay, so for example in a video game, sound effects provide the realism while the background music enhances the atmosphere. Okay, so now digitizing the sound. To use the sound in computers, it must be converted from its natural. It must be converted from its natural analog form into a digital format. This process is called digitization, analog to digital format. It involves sampling, where the sound wave is broken into the small pieces at the regular intervals. The sampling rate means how many samples are taken per second. And the sampling size, the number of bits used to store each sample, determine the quality of the digitized sound. Higher sampling rates and size result in more accurate digital representation, but require more storage space. Okay. So now the computer representation of sound like the sampling rate. The sampling rate refers to how many times per second a sound wave is measured or sampled. It is the measured in hertz, AZ. The common sampling rate include the 44.1 kilohertz for the series and 48 kilohertz for the DVDs. A higher sampling rate captures a more detail of the original sound, resulting in better quality. However, higher rates also mean the larger file size. The sampling rate is a critical factor in determining the overall quality of the digital audio in the multimedia application. So now the computer representation of the sound like sampling size. The sampling size also known as the bit depth. It refers to the number of bits used to represent the each sample of the audio. A higher sampling size provides a more precise information about the sound, improving the audio quality. For example, CD quality Audio typically use a 64-bit sampling sam sample size, while the professional audio may use 24-bit or the higher. Larger bit depths allow for the greater dynamic range, meaning the difference between the cuest and the loudest, quietest and the loudest parts of the sound is more accurately captured. Okay. So now the quantization. Quantization is the process of mapping a large set of input values the sound wave samples to a smaller set, typically done during the sound digitization. When sound is sampled, 
the continuous analog values are converted into a finite number of levels or the steps in digital form. The more levels available determined by the bit depth, the better the quality of the sound representation. However, the quantization can lead to a slight loss of the audio quality known as the quantization noise, especially at the lower bit depth. Okay. So now the audio formats and the audio tools. Audio format like the there are various format used to store the digital audio. Each with its advantages and also the disadvantages. The common formats include the WAV, MP3, AAC. Okay. WAV files are uncompressed and offer a offer the highest quality but require the more storage space. MP3 and the AAC are compressed format. Reducing the file size by removing the parts of the sound that are less audible to the human ear. Okay. While still maintaining a good audio quality, choosing the right format depends on the balance between the quality and the file size needed for the multimedia projects. Okay. So now the audio tools. To work with audio in multimedia, various tools are available for recording, editing and mixing. Software like Audacity. Adobe Audition allows the users to manipulate the sound by cutting, copying, mixing and applying the effects. These tools are essential for the multimedia developers who need to customize the audio for their project, ensuring the sound components the visual and enhances the overall experience. Okay. So now the MIDI. Musical, musical Instrument Digital Interface MIDI is a technical standard that allows the musical instrument, computers and other devices to communicate and synchronize with each other. Unlike the audio files which store the recorded sound, MIDI files store instruction on how to play musical notes including the pitch, the duration and intensity. MIDI is widely used in the multimedia application for creating and editing the music because it allow, allows for easy manipulation of the mu musical elements without the large file size of the traditional audio formats okay so now that's wrap up on today's video i hope you now have a better understanding of how sound is represented okay and digitize in multimedia system along with the different audio formats and tools used. In the next video, we will dive into the images and video and explore how they are handled in the multimedia. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Okay.